Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about how the community has changed kind of like a 2018 retrospective into 2019 of how the Magic YouTube community in particular has changed throughout the years. Now in the very beginning, there was no sponsorships, there was no money, and people were more friendly. Uh, this makes sense because if everyone assumes there's no money involved, then there's not as much of a race to the bottom to try to get donations. Uh, Patreon did not e exist. So it was a few YouTubers. The Mana Source was actually much later than my channel. Unsleeved Media HQ was around my channel, around the time of my channel, my new law student channel. And there were some other channels that have come and gone in the past. But we did not have any sponsors. Uh, Tolarian Community College, I believe his first sponsor was the Monthly Magic Box. The Monthly Magic Box, which was a scam, sponsored and opened the gates to essentially selling out, uh, I would call it. Uh, when you promote a product that you don't know if you don't know how the product is getting into your subscribers. Your subscribers are texting you, they're tweeting you, they're leaving comments on your videos, uh, saying that, hey, I haven't received my box, but it looks like you always received your box YouTube channel early. Well, if you're running a business and you wanted to run a scam, you would definitely make sure all the YouTubers receive their free non-paid boxes as early as possible and all the subscribers would get boxes whenever they could, sometimes never. This leads into why people are not responsible in the community. Um, there is a uh, dilemma here. And the dilemma is uh, the same people who want social welfare or community, uh, it says that it takes a village to raise a child. I, I believe that. Uh, it does take a village to raise a child and each interaction. Uh, my dog, Norman, when I'm making this video, uh, a kid from the neighborhood is walking Norman. He comes here and plays basketball all the time. At my, I have a basketball hoop at my home. And all the kids in the neighborhood really enjoy just uh, hanging out at the backyard and my dog. And it does take people to be friendly. Um, they're my neighbors, so of course I'm going to let them play basketball even though they're terrible and they always hit the garage door, always. But you know, that can be fixed. That can be fixed. And that's part of owning a home is you do want to uh, be able to offer water. Uh, another good example of this was I just got my lawn care done. I always tip. You know, I always tip quite well based on... Not, I just tip even if the work is not great. I know you're not supposed to do that, but I feel like it's hard work. I chose not to do that work because I don't want to do it and I'm employing someone else to do it. Therefore, you know, a tip is reasonable, in my opinion, for lawn care and things of that nature. Uh, my dog groomer, I always tip them uh, pretty well. Even when I get a haircut, which I haven't got in a while, uh, I make sure the tip is pretty good, especially around holidays. And that's part of your community. Your community isn't just the people who live in your neighborhood. It's the people who cut your hair. It's the people who uh, mow your grass. It's the people who come over to play basketball. Little kids come over to play basketball. It's people who walk your dog. It's your dog walker. This is kind of what you put into the community. And you shouldn't be worried about the pennies and the nickels and the dimes because eventually it'll even out. We have a lot of people in this community uh, who I'm going to call the mana source out as one, but you can insert X YouTuber here. They, in my opinion, take, 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 and they don't give, give, give. And there's nothing worse, in my opinion, when you go eat. Um, I was a waiter at uh, NYU, a busboy at NYU. Not at NYU, but when I went to school at NYU, I took a restaurant job over the summer. And there's nothing worse than when someone doesn't tip you. Uh, it's a bad feeling because you feel like, oh, maybe I didn't do a good job. Or maybe that person was very cheap. And since I know that feeling, I would never want, uh, 
I went to a really good seafood restaurant. The service was quite awful for that type of restaurant, to be quite honest. And I still tipped very well. Uh, it was the waitress's second shift. Uh, that was, and then she told me it was second shift. I filled out a comment card and you know gave her all really good ratings and gave her a, uh, a pre, not like the biggest tip because she didn't do a great job, but a very good tip when you consider when everything is considered and it was over 25 percent since it was her second shift and whether or not she would continue the job was during the holidays would be heavily dependent on my comment card and probably the size of the tip i left and i know that because i worked in the restaurant industry so uh, if you have a big tip it does seem like you did a good job plus if the comment card is all five stars or all very good service which it was for me that helps out. I'm not in it to belittle or demean these other YouTubers. I just don't feel like they put enough into the community, uh, given what they take out. And if you have a community where everyone is taking, 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 eventually you're going to run out of fists in the community pool. It's sad. That's a very sad state of affairs, in my opinion. And I, I act, I interact very little with other YouTubers, and that's primarily why, uh, because I didn't grow up in a system where uh, you're taught to take. Um, I'm one of those kids that if the candy, if uh, someone went away and the, there's a bowl of candy and it says take two, I will take two and then leave the bowl of candy. Now I know not every kid is like that. Just like not every magic YouTuber is like that. But it is quite detrimental because here's what's going to happen. Uh, here's what I, I will predict. In the next five years, Wedge will have another GoFundMe for this. He won't have health insurance. Um, it's unlikely that he has health insurance right now. It, again, it's none of this is transparent. Did any of the 85 or 80,000 plus go to... Uh, somehow getting health insurance even if it's not the premium health insurance you can get health insurance or finding a job if you find a job a full-time job you have to have health insurance the company has to be able to give you that option to provide it how do i know that well i run a company and i actually buy my health insurance same system that probably wedge uses wedge would use so when you have a lot of people who have to take, they have, again, no option but to take. So when Tolarian was working a, a part-time job and doing magic on the side, that's hard. That is hard. No one wants to work 60 hours or 80 hours, right? No one wants to do that. No one wants the instability. No one wants, you know, like no one wants to work hard in life. That's just human nature. If you look at all of technology, the problem that technology is trying to solve is how can I make people more lazy? That's the problem or that's the solution to every problem in tech is make people lazy, make it simple, make it easy. And the more difficult it is, uh, the, the easy, and the easier the solution is, the more likely that company is going to be funded. So we have a community of uh, people who for lack of a better word, I don't... So I own a game store now, and I have a very different perspective in 2018 than I did in 2017 when I was trying to make my game store. A game store is your community. Um, your game store provides a place for you to play. It provides product. It provides someone to talk to. Whenever I buy these collections, we end up talking for hours. You can ask anyone who's going to make a collection. We end up talking for hours about, you know, the, if it's buying anime, it'll be about anime and what new figures they want to buy. If it's about uh, magic, it'll be magic, Pokemon, Pokemon. And my distributor is, you know, really into movies right now. I don't know why. But, you know, it's, uh, it's fascinating. Uh, in my opinion, uh, a community is based on givers. So your local game store is a giver no matter how much you hate them. They provide a place to play, and they're giving something to the community. And now you might say, oh, well, they want me to buy stuff. And yeah, it's an exchange, but at least they're giving something. Now, when 
some patreons you receive product that is an exchange of some type right now one of the main things a lot of people will talk about is exchanging money for content oh i really like your content i really like your podcast and that is also an exchange right but that exchange has to be transparent it has to be transparent and in person knowing it if you go give money to a gofundme for medical and the reason that this GoFundMe had to be started was based because on poor decision making. You would expect the decision making to be get better. You expect the first thing to be tweeted to be, I just got health insurance. Right? That would be my expectation if this whole dilemma is caused by you not paying health insurance and you paying so little money that you're not even penalized for not having health insurance, which I didn't know could, was a possibility until Wed's you know, told us very proudly so that he doesn't make a, or he his reported income is not enough to be penalized by the tax people for not having health insurance. So as a society, who pays when someone doesn't have insurance? It's everyone else. So you can talk about I want society this, I want to do that, I want to do I pay a huge amount for um, ISD, which is our um, public school. I don't have kids. I don't plan to ever have kids. And I pay a large tax based on the size of my home and the income. I guess it's the size of the home more than the income. Uh, and I pay a huge tax just so people can get educated. And I'm fine. You know, if they asked me to pay more, I would pay more. I would be okay with that because I understand that as a community, I will put in the money every year and then this neighborhood would be nice. People will be educated. People get the education they want. That will attract you know, really good neighbors and that will keep you know, my property value high. It's a exchange of some type, but it's me investing in the community as I often do from adoptions and fosters. And I use my social media heavily. If you follow me on Facebook or LinkedIn, you know I post about fostering dogs probably once a month and I had someone adopt a dog in Houston get on a plane from Switzerland and I did I thought all of this was fake I thought he was catfishing or something, whatever it was called and it turned out to be true he fell in love with the dog online um, obviously I took really good pictures of it and the dog was with me for 90 plus days I think over 100 days so I was really worried I posted pictures and videos and um, so my LinkedIn is my social media profile. It's bigger than this YouTube channel, clearly. And uh, it got adopted. I was like, wow. But what you put in, so by doing that, by taking a dog off the street, paying $800 for heartworm, which was reduced to 400 because my vet is really awesome and she actually discounts rescues uh, half off. So... Normally it was 800 and then she charged me 400 and then there was other, you know, vaccines and I forget what it was. There was something else that was wrong. Oh, oh, duh. It was um, the little white, when she pooed, there was little white stuff in it. I think it was ringworms. I'm trying to think if it was heartworms. It was heartworms and ringworms. Yeah, ringworms because she had that little thing on her paw and that was a clear indicator of ringworms. Yeah, I mean, it is a community. And what you put in in the magic community, if you do start a store, I can tell you you're not going to make money in the first year. I can tell you I'm probably not going to make money in 2019. Then you might ask why should, why do you want to do it? Because there's nowhere to play. There is not a place, in my opinion, where it, you can get cheap product to open. Product is extremely expensive right now. Um, as you can see with inflation and all this random stuff, like it's the same with the Pokemon cards, the store in the mall, the Darebrook mall, I'm going to use names and stores and stuff. They recently bankrupt and they were the only one selling Pokemon cards and they weren't even selling for a good price. Now there's a bunch of Pokemon players or people interested in Pokemon. There's no way to buy cheap cards. That's why I, I did this was because uh, throughout the, in 2019 when I really work on it and we have an excellent uh, worker who is primarily going to do that channel and the marketing YouTube channel 
that's what I want. I want to add to the community,、uh, even if it costs me money, because I'm in the position which my feeling has always been: get as strong as you can, as fast as you can. And once you're strong, then you can help people. Don't beg, don't plead. Get strong. And I know it's not as easy as a statement of, "All right, you're inspired. Go out there and make tons of money, and then give back to the community." But in my opinion,、uh, people who ask, 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 even if they did receive and did get lots of money, they will never give back because there is a selfishness, right? If you ask for something. Some people feel ashamed asking for something, asking for help, or asking for money. They shouldn't, but they do because there's, you know, they feel bad that they are being provided something for nothing. Some people don't, and those people who don't, they will continue to ask for donations. They will continue to have GoFundMe's. This is not the last GoFundMe. I guarantee you this. So you think I'm a MTG Finance wizard, or you think I'm terrible at MTG Finance? Regardless. I will make a bold prediction that there will be another GoFundMe for the Mana Source within three years. It will be somewhat healthcare related. I don't know exactly what it will be, but it will be something related to healthcare. Anyway, my prediction. Bye, guys.